morning, everybody. Thanks for coming. Uh, we called this to order this morning. We do have a quorum. Before I forget, anybody got cell phones, please silence them in case you've forgotten. All right. Number B, public comments. Any comments? Item number C, Department of Reports, Senior Citizen, Amelia. <coughs> month, the 28th, 29th, uh, the guys are doing a scholarship this year, so if you need to, they're doing five uh, prizes, the grand prize is a $1,000 Visa gift card, second place is a uh, Euromex 22 AR-15, third is a John Deere toolbox, fourth is an Arctic cooler, the big one, 65 quart, and then fifth is a Yeti popper cooler, so if anybody needs tickets, contact me or any of the uh, rodeo guys. <coughs> They're going to go on sale through the 15th, so I think we're going to do the scholarship. There'll be one awarded to Roby Senior and a Rotan Senior. Uh, stock show stuff, we do have West Texas Fair. That is going to happen. And then they're going to allow the kids to show at the uh, State Fair of Texas, but there's not a, a fair part. Other than that, that's all I got. Motion on the consent agenda. No, I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Second. Right. Point of collection of interest on the bill, Ms. Mulder. Yes, I have to. For Rotan Motor, no longer $27 a month for $130 for the month. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Second. Budget amendment by the transfer. I do have budget line transfer. Reserve for the capital outlay. Uh, outside auditors may need to move it to that. 
with a 52,000 just to pay them a little bit. Then I have one for precinct four, uh, the family, same thing on the new equipment, moving it from within the reserves to a new precinct item. Uh, Dexter, uh, salary on the road patrols, we're moving from here as road woman uh, to part time. Non-departmental um, Tulsa County expense and moving from that to miscellaneous reimbursement because expense and county restitution, uh, there's just a little bit in that budgeted until it can be taken out from those line items. Election supplies, they're a little short on the fee, but that five day expense and the retirement, we're getting that from the supplies, just a 715. Uh, the roadie, the rural fire school, uh, moving that from the count to the equipment and the fuel. Responded to 86 calls this year alone, and uh, a lot of that has been with the help of the sheriff's office on reporting that we don't, we're not meeting, you know, just under certain calls. So that's kind of helped us a lot. Uh, to kind of go on with that, 2011 we had 187 calls, which is shaping up to be, you know, pretty pretty active fire season. And the budget was set back in 1986, and uh, uh, that was when we were given two trucks from the county, uh, possibly from the oil money and stuff. Those trucks have since been outdated and are not, no longer in service. Uh, we, uh, we, we're, we're formally requesting.
16 off yeah. Thank you. Yeah. All right, back up top, item number four, burn band. What do you think about? 
up and learn things. We <laughs> better leave it on. You like the way we did that? <laughs> All right, it's in force, so we'll read it by motion. Special revenue, Ms. Mullen? Yes, um, we've got a check in for $146.25 for a clear port police bonus check, and it was precinct four. I just certified that, and our courier got that to the court. What's your form? It's a lease bonus check from clear port. I think that's when we... Yeah, that's when I came we've, we've never had, had one of those We've before. never had it before, so... The fire department. Okay. Sorry, it's only 146 bucks. All right. And I have two more certifications. Okay. I, I'm just, I have, I'm just certifying the revenue for the leasing of the John Deere motor grade for precinct two, which is 185,000. So I'm just certifying it to put it in the budget for the outside auditors. Also for uh, precinct three, the um, caps for two hundred fifty-five thousand three hundred, and the expenditure for three hundred seven three hundred. Just the certification for all of them. So that's correct. Yes, that's correct. I'll make the motion. Second. All in favor? Any other motion? Please do that. Number six. Uh, number six is uh, Goldsmith Recycle IT. There's the attachment looks like about 20 computers are gone. Uh, the motion for them to recycle what we've taken out. Make a motion. I need one of those computers in my barn. Is that a motion? No. No, it's not. Yeah. I'm just joking. <laughs> we probably are still over there in the recycle. Right? There should be some that's still good. We're going to buy one. They give them a the 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 break. They break them. They break them. There ain't nothing in it. The monitors are good. The fire department need any? The monitors are good? Yeah. The, monitor, the monitors are good. Yeah, the monitors are good. Yeah, they, they took out the process. Yeah. Really good one. Yeah. Yeah, they took out the hard drive on all of them. They had at least two good monitors. The fire department can. I think you ought to get at least one for each one of them. I don't think we care that you have what you want. They just yeah. need to make it. I'll be second. Motion carried. All in favor? All right, item number seven is on the TIF grant. And, uh, we just need a motion that we are going to let grant works out. I make a motion to let grant works out. Second. All in favor? Motion carried. Okay, and number eight is right along the same lines. It's just a resolution that uh, we're going to let them do. All right. Next item on the agenda is uh, declared sur surplus equipment. We have uh, 24 trailer, number four, uh, precinct four, Mack truck, precinct four, international truck, precinct four, international truck, precinct one. I think next week we've got some contestants. Sales equipment on declared surplus. I need a motion for that. Make a motion. Second. All favor? Motion carried. We'll put it on Renee yes. Bailey. Yes. The reason I was trying to get mine, we can do it all at the same time. Where somebody comes look, they can look at it all at the same time. No one counting is going to put some there for no one also. Item number 11, appointment of election judges for November 3rd, November 20th, Um, Yeah, we usually, we actually had them done for two years. I usually do them for two years, but we've had a couple 
that uh, decided not to do it again, so I'm just redoing all of them. I've got precinct one would be Julie Dennis is our election judge. Precinct four would, <coughs> excuse me, would be Rachel Cepeda. Precinct 10 would be Dwayne Magoo, and he's, oops, sorry. Precinct 12 would be uh, Joe uh, Moreno. You know, I see the motion. And then 13, new election equipment. Okay. Oh, yes. Um, election system is software has contacted me. They are going to pick up our old equipment next week. Um, and they gave us a, you know, a little bit of money, not a lot, but a little bit of money for it. And then our new equipment will be here on August the 28th. And they will be doing training for the new equipment. Uh, the trying to think in September, the eighth and ninth of September. If anyone would like to be trained to help with the elections, in case I'm out. Sure. Okay. I'll put you down. Uh, and. Uh, Governor has also. Did I put this on separate? Can't remember. Just separate. I'll go on to the next one. Uh, uh, and just an update for everybody: the governor extended early voting by four days, so we will be starting early voting on October the 13th, which is a Tuesday because Monday is Columbus Day, and we'll be having it in Roby and Rotan from eight to five for almost three weeks, Monday through Friday. Uh, there's some other little things in the governor's proclamation that will change a few things, but not anything anybody else needs to worry about but me. Uh, I will say, and I did tell the judge this, that next year, because we have the new equipment, I am going to put into the Secretary of State's office to do countywide polling places, which means that anyone, if they approve us, and we, go, we have to go through a, a process for it, <coughs> Uh, if they approve us, then we will be able to, everybody will be able to go into any polling place and vote. We'll still have to have four polling places because we have to have one per commission precinct, but you can walk into any of them and vote because this new equipment will allow us to do that. With the old equipment, we, we didn't qualify. Uh, there's about 76 counties now that have done that and uh, been very successful. I'm really excited about it. It's too late for this November election because you have to have a public hearing and there's several things um, I have to get done for it. But hopefully we'll have a trial run next November for the constitutional. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think it will be great because if you happen to be in Rotan and you're in box four or you're in Rotan and you're Rotan and you have to come over here on election day for box one, They'll be able to go to any of the other two polling places if they didn't go for uh, early voting. So, uh, besides of that, I think that's about that's about it. Uh, I am going to um, put a video <clears throat> on Facebook when we get our new equipment in uh, to. I'm not happy about that. I guess I will, I will do a video to show how it works and everything when we get it in so everybody can see what it looks like. And I'll put it on our Facebook um, elections page showing what it looks like. But we, this, I do want to tell everybody we will still have paper ballots. Even the new equipment that, that we, you can use will be a, it, it prints out a little thing when you sign in and it's a little bitty card. And when you put it in the machine, you do all your voting and it prints it out and you are able to see your votes. So you can do the old school where you sit and mark it, or you can do the new where you can stand at the machine and let it do it for you. And then you, both of them go in the new tabulators. Those machines do not tabulate. So we still have paper backup for everything. We will not be doing where it's electronic and there's no paper backup. We will still have paper backup. 
So we will still be able to see your votes before you put it in. The only other thing I want to remind everybody is that in the 2017 legislation, the uh, legislation took away uh, where you vote for one party and you, that's all. You will have to, starting this November, mark each person on the ballot. You cannot just put Republican or Democrat and it, it takes care of your whole ballot. They did away with that in 2017. This will be our first election without that. So when you come in to vote, allow a little more time because you are gonna to have to mark each individual race. And if you have any questions or you want to come see, I don't have the new equipment in, but I do have videos that can show you what, what we're doing. And this is all, I do want to say this is all paid for by a grant. None of it is coming out of taxpayer money. It's all grant money. Yes. For those that don't know, how much was the grant? The grant was, uh, the, count, the county did have to put in 16000 um, But, so it's, what we're getting from the federal government through the state is 120. So we will have 136,000. The equipment was about 90,000. And uh, so then we have some money left to do a few other little things for the election to secure the grant. Um, we did get our election security assessment done, which we talked about, I don't know, whoever wasn't here last month, uh, which we got uh, a really good rating on. And uh, that was one of the things to get the grant was to have that done. And we're, we're in really good shape, so. And I'll be happy to answer any questions if you wanna to come to my office after this is over about any of it. Would y'all like to begin? Option three. Sure. Tell me, Dave.